Hey guys, how's it going? Burstfire here, bringing you another video, and today you are watching episode 15 of From Burstfire to Challenger. Following yesterday's win on Ezreal, we're now 78 LP in Gold 5 on a 1 win streak with an overall record of 8 to 6. Uh, so without further ado, let's get queued up for ADC and mid lane, and then uh, we'll get straight into the game. Alright guys, we are into the game. Um... This is going to be an interesting one. We have actually got a trundle mid with a ribbon top. Um, essentially, we needed a tank. Ribbon went ribbon and uh, said, oh, it's gold. It doesn't matter. So trundle took a uh, trundle mid with grasp, which funnily enough, probably won't be that bad into Yasuo after like level four. So I suppose we, you know, if we just, I hope it's not a troll game, but let's just treat it like it's a, a normal game. Um, break it down. So top J should just shit on the ribbon. Um, just win the lane. Uh, Riven kind of has to outplay the Jace, otherwise she just loses. Um, so I'm expecting Jace to win. Yasuo, Trundle. Yasuo should win early, especially with Ignite. Um, don't know why Trundle has Ignite, not TP, but whatever. Um, so Yasuo should win early. Maybe, like, level 1, 2, Trundle might get a choose kill, but I think, like, level 3 to, like, 5, Yasuo just shits on him. Um, but after Trundle, or 3 to 8, more like, but after Trundle gets maybe like Frozen Heart, something like that, then uh, it should probably go in favor of him scaling better. But early game, Jace and Yasuo most likely. Uh, and then Corky Thresh, if they like land a hook or a flay, then they win. Uh, but if Soraka and I just like shove the lane, don't die to jungle ganks, just like don't lose, then we're just going to have so much more damage than Corky in the mid game. Um, not in terms of like his package, obviously that's going to be more than like my damage, but in terms of sustained damage in extended team fight, and especially late game. Like mid game, it'll be debatable. Maybe Corky be like slightly better with the package, but late game, I'll just be jumping, resetting. Like they got nothing. They got Yasuo, but if Yasuo gets shut down or whatever, then it's all good. Thresh might be looking for a hook here, level one. Pretty questionable. I oh, went ES Flay, I'm retarded. So our job here is just to shove them in. We know that Corky sucks under tower anyway from mid lane. Um, and we also know that Tristana's E makes him really good at pushing, uh, makes her really good at pushing, but also really bad at, uh, CSing under her tower. So we definitely don't want to get pushed in and we are good at pushing. So that makes, uh, the obvious thing to be pushing. Also, we don't want it all in. And generally if you get shoved in or you freeze or whatever, then you're going to get all in and we don't want that. So like Thresh here is probably looking for a hook, most likely, or he could just be zoning. There we go, there's the hook. And as soon as this hook's on cooldown, they have like no threat at all. Now if we had like a Braum instead, then this would be like way better, but Soraka was just locked in and I don't have anyone that's really good with Soraka except maybe like Vayne. Uh, I didn't really want to play Vayne because um, our team has a lot of ability damage and, and burst like Vayne. Um, and Tristana's just got way more like sustained damage in the late game, like carry potential. Because Vayne's basically like a mid game, mid to late game um, team fighter, almost like a marksman bruiser, whereas Tristana's actually a hyper carry. So, all right, least in dead top side. That's really good for us. Um, it probably means I, see I can't count the camps anymore because they change like the values, so I don't actually understand what sixteen means, but. I'm going to assume that Lee didn't do his chickens, and so that'll be his next port of call. So he's probably going to end up bot side. And we're getting shoved in, but we're not under tower, uh, which is fine. And we had to get shoved in. Like, I didn't choose to get shoved in here, but the Thresh was zoning too much, and the Soraka doesn't offer anything except for the Q. And this is the problem. is like This is why uh, Thresh counters like Soraka, Lulu, Janna, that sort of stuff, is because um, you can't poke and trade because you get hooked. You know, like, Soraka goes up for a Q, she gets flayed, she gets hooked. Like, or at least there's the risk of it. Um, so, definitely very difficult to play. Um, but that's why Thresh, Blitzcrank, uh, even like Bard, kind of counter these uh, ranged supports. Yeah, she's dead. That's exactly what I was talking about. Oh, wait, what? That hit me. Lol. But that's exactly what I was talking about, you know, like that sort of stuff. But, uh, 
perfectly fine because again we're supposed to lose early we're actually not losing as hard as i thought like i'm only six cs behind and in terms of xp i'm probably like one million behind so oh take the hook for her oh she died anyway that's unfortunate yeah wasn't really anything we could do there like i healed her i i blocked the hook for her but yeah, it's unlucky um then they're, they're backing off which indicates to me that lee sin isn't here so I'm just going to chill. But see how hard it is to see us under tower as Tristana. Um, they're recalling. So actually I'm just going to shove. Probably could like W or something. But I don't want to be too clever. Like too cute. Because maybe they fake the recall. Maybe Lee Sin's here. Stuff like that. So. Well, let's play it safe. Might even be able to get BF sword off this, which would be really good. Because also Corky's gonna go um, most likely Sheen Boots or Sheen Longsword. And BF Sword's gonna be way better than that in an extended fight with like at least three auto attacks. And him only getting like one Sheen prop. Oh he went Phage. That's interesting. I mean Phage is gonna help him farm better and maybe fight better with the movement speed, but yeah, I'm out. But um yeah, Sheen would definitely have been more like just damage in the fight. But yeah, pretty happy to get my BF Sword. Generally, you want to get about 40 CS and then you get your BF Sword. A um, little bit more than that. You know, that's just the general estimation. Maybe like BF Sword and uh, and Pot or BF Sword Pink Ward or something. But 40 CS is about what you want to get before your first base if you lose lane. And so that's exactly what we did. And remember, remember, this is the key with... Um, it's the same as the matchup yesterday. And this is... In theory, right, you should always pick the strongest early gamer because if everyone plays perfectly, then the early game strength will win. So they're better early game, so they will win. However, because it's solo queue, especially low elo solo queue, and most and in theory, the enemy shouldn't be able to capitalize off a lead. Um, I literally can do nothing here to help her. Uh, in theory, they shouldn't be able to capitalize off a lead. So actually, sometimes picking like Nasus, that's why Nasus and Loilo is so OP, is because you could play Nasus versus like Teemo and win because the Teemo doesn't know what he's doing. Or not Teemo, Teemo shit, like Jace, right? Or Pantheon or something like that. So, because they don't realize like you can't just sit in lane and try and solo kill the Nasus. You have to roam, you have to, you know, take towers and bot, you have to use your ultimate, like that sort of stuff. So. Anyway, and again, you might think, oh, I'm talking and that's why we're losing the lane. No, the reason we're losing the lane is just because Soraka and, well, basically because we lose the matchup and then Soraka's not respecting the fact that we lose the matchup. And not only do we lose the matchup, but she's already died once and now she's died twice. Like, this thrash is garbage anyway. Um, I probably should have been hooked there. That was actually my fault walking up too far, but stuff like that is fine. Like, it's what you have to do. Well, you don't have to do it, but... You know, it's always nice to do, get you a little, it gets you a little bit of an advantage, you know, putting his Q on cooldown. Yeah, you obviously risk getting hit, but generally in situations like that, it's like pretty low risk. But I think there, um, I misplayed it and he could have actually hooked me. But that's more about spacing and mechanics and stuff, which is not significant. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Tristan under tower, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, I'm only seven behind, so this is what I'm saying. It's like Corky can't capitalize because he can't farm. I think Thresh is in here, by the way. So we gotta be very careful of that. Oh no, he's mid. He's mid. Useless bot? No, we're just losing. It's not useless, we're just losing. They got a pink in there. We just don't have priority. Like we could get Dove here potentially. We don't know. I'm just respecting the Lisa and Yasuo. Which is what I should do. That was my bad. Yeah. My bad. Mechanics again. Well, I didn't see the minion dying. He just... It, like, it's not advanced, but... 
it caught me off guard, so that was my bad, definitely. Ah, uh, she shouldn't... Why would you heal? I already used my pot, and now you're, like, super low health. Oh, well. She probably got auto-filled support, to be fair to her, so I don't want to, like, berate her. But definitely this game is winnable. Um, top's not losing. Uh, mid's actually winning somehow, and jungle was, jungle was supposed to win, but jungle is winning, so that's something. Our bot's missing, so I'm just going to shove here. As soon as I see Thresh, I'm jumping away. If he's, like, close enough to me to flare. Or, close enough to hook. I'm just jumping, because I don't want to risk it. It's like yesterday, I was playing Ezreal versus Brand, and I kept trying to, like, dodge the um, the Brand stun, like, reactively, and it just didn't didn't work. So, if I see Thresh close to me, I'm just going to jump out. Oh, Corky package. That's odd. Oh, my sound turned off. That's awkward. Oh, it's back. Alright, Corky win mid. I mean, that's their fault, not our fault. Like, we have no control over our lane anyway. Which is not our fault. It's just the matchup. Yeah, I saw at least Senate missing. So actually, I'm just going to use my uh, thing and then I'm just going to leave. Mm, okay, we'll take this, but I don't want to die for it, man. Okay, we actually ended up getting bot tower first, which is really good. But we got to be very careful here. As soon as I see them, I'm just leaving. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm out. I'm out. I'm so out right now. Yasuo's bot, Thresh's bot, Corky's bot. Nah, fuck that. I'm recalling. I'm just gonna give it up. Give it up. Give up. Bot. Nah. Should have given up bottom. Because I had lots of money to spend. We're losing anyway. It's 3v2. Um... We already took their tower, so losing our tower is fair, and that's what should happen because we lost bot lane, so we should have just given it up there. And then we would have been able to take mid off it, but now we probably can't. And also Trundle's like inefficient, and now I'm mid instead of bot, which is kind of bad. Okay, that's the Aswell Wind Wall. You always want to treat Yasuo's and Kales and stuff like they don't have Wind Wall and Ult. Um, and then when they use it, then you react. Come on. Oh my god. Are you serious? Are you actually kidding me? Thanks, dude. I don't get it. Like... That was the best thing I could have done to support her play. And if she wasn't going for the kill anyway, then why was she still there? And now I'm top, and I don't want to be top. Like, I'm going to die top now. I hate these games. Like, it's literally, Trundle shouldn't be bought. Riven shouldn't have died, or shouldn't be fighting there at all. And then I even healed to give her movement speed, and she still fucking didn't do it. Now Kha'Zix wants to gank me when there's, like, a massive minion wave here that I just want to farm. Fucking mess, bro. I'm recalling. Fuck it. Yo, yeah, what the hell? <laughs> uh, Alright, recall circle. How's it going, buddy? Like, again, Trundle has been bought this whole time for no reason. No reason at all. He was winning mid. Like... He should be top, if anything, and, like, Sorak is with him, so I don't have a support now. Like, this is why you don't play Tristana mid lane or Tristana top, is because you need a support, and I don't have one. So I can't farm safely. Meanwhile, Riven's getting dicked on. Lol. Just, oh, this game, bro. It's just a mess. Like, it's actually just a mess. Uh, 
Oh, the macro in this game. Like, now Trundle's back mid, and now I'm farming the same wave as him. Or because he went bot to defend a tower that we should have just given up. Yeah, we saved the tower, but the amount of CS and tempo that we lost was not worth saving that tower. Like, ever. It's so bad. We're in such a bad spot now. And now Ribbon's going bot instead of Trundle, because Trundle took Ignite, not TP. What there, XD. That's why you don't play Trundle mid, is you need TP and... Uh, ignites the best summoner spell for mid lane. Like, oh god, we don't win this fight. Like, why are we fighting? We win late game. We scale. We have a Trundle, Kazix, Tristana, Soraka. They have Lee Sin, fucking Corky, Jace. Like, we don't want to fight early, man. This is such a mess. I'm dead. Like, again, that whole fight shouldn't have happened. I don't care if I misplayed it. I don't actually... I think it's debatable if I did, apart from the Yasuo win wall or whatever, but, like, that whole fight was so dumb. It shouldn't have happened. Like, oh, I hate this shit. Oh, but if you're so good at macro, then why are you gold? Because I can't get them to fucking do what they're supposed to do. I don't know how. Like, Riven's now 1v3-ing! It's gold! Hey, it's gold! I can pick Riven. Fucking dipshit. I'm gonna pick Riven versus Jace. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm inting. Ha ha ha. Like... Uh, we can still win, but... Shit team, bro. <sighs> Jesus. Uh, we're gonna go for this tower. Nope, we're not. See you later. Alright, we can't even farm mid because it's too overextended to the sides. We got no coverage. Nice. Now we go take mid and then we go take wolves. He's got package, so I don't want to get caught out by it. But, like, come on, guys. They clearly have a mid-game, early-game team. Why would Trundle go bot trying to defend a tower when giving up the tower means we'll... Like, if you scale better, you, you want to give up towers. Not first tower, but we'd already lost that, so it doesn't matter. Like, you want to give up towers if you scale better. Because... What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Fucking troll. Um, you want to give up early towers. Tier 1s, not Tier 2s. You want to give up early tier 1s because, um, because it allows you to farm safer and scale up. Like, if you take a, a tier 1 too early and then you don't punish it, which is the whole point of a scaling comp anyway, um, then uh, it actually becomes an advantage for the enemy team. Corky's coming to this fight, and we're fighting again without the AD carry. XD... Like, there's literally no way into this fight safely. Like, why is that fight even happening? You know we lose. Like, it's literally the matchup. I don't understand what they don't get. Like, they haven't figured it out yet? We're losing. Get over it. Like, don't fight. We're losing. We are losing. We scale better. Stop. I think. Look, no matter what, if I say that, it's just common sense, I'll get flamed, and my team will get tilted. Watch. They'll, they'll say something toxic or something dumb about, like, my mechanics or whatever. Just watch. It'll say, like, you're useless, something like that. Trundle's now taking farm. Yeah, bro, Trundle's take farm from Tristana. That's a great idea, dude. That's a great idea, buddy. Go top to Trundle. Good. Oh my 
my god, that's so forced! We have no vision on the whole enemy team, that's so forced, what are you doing? That's so forced, man. And then they'll say, they'll, like, even if they don't say it, I know what that Kha'Zix is thinking. He's like, wow, man, my team never follows up. It was a shit decision. If we follow up there and they're all there, then we just lose the game. Straight up. Baron's up. They might be going Baron. Oh, what, they're going Dragon? They should go Baron, because Dragon's too obvious. Whatever. I guess they don't see the Baron. But yeah, they could definitely take Baron here, and we really couldn't contest it at all, because Kha'Zix is bot, and we don't have any vision. And Riven was in base. Alright, I do some damage now, which is nice. Um, when you're clearing with Trist, you want to kill the little ones first to get the E passive damage. And then you use the big one on the big one. Um, use the E on the big minion, or the big uh, monster. And then it splashes to all the little ones. So that's that's why I'm doing that, in case you're wondering. Alright, Lee Sin's looking for a play over the wall. Kha'Zix is looking to assassinate him. I can't jump in there, even though I want to, because of the threat of Thresh and Corky. So, again, bad decision making from Kha'Zix. There's no way I can get, I can get in on that without dying. Like, yeah, see? The pings? So that missing ping it basically says to me that he's blaming us for his death. And basically saying we're useless when we scale better, like, you know, it's the comp. It's literally the comp and the matchups. Like, the only mistake I have made is is actually fighting with the team and then dying. Like, Kha'Zix doesn't really, he's angry because he's losing, but he doesn't know why we're losing. I'm going to buy my AE here. And give up mid. It's just, it's like, you just shouldn't be, you shouldn't be toxic if you don't understand the game. Like, you shouldn't be toxic anyway, but when you're toxic and you're wrong, like this Kha'Zix, and the Tom Kench from like two videos ago, then, um, just shut up. Like, honestly, it's so annoying. Like, again, getting caught out, and that's our fault, right? Like, what am I supposed to do? Jump in there? Jump in there and help him out? XD? Alright, looks like we're fighting here. I don't want to get hit by the Thresh. Alright, getting some autos in. This could be a good fight. This could be a good fight. That's one. Okay. See, this is the fight that we wanted. That was good. Right? That's the sort of shit we want. And it'll only get better the longer the game goes on. So there's no need for us to push too hard there. But like, that sort of shit, right? That's what we wanted. Like, I'm not saying I'm a mechanical god, I'm just saying that, like, you should never lose if your macro is as good as mine. If your team just followed your macro. Ah, oh, my heal fucked up. Well, I fucked my heal. Nice. Okay. Nice, I'm just gonna run back, pick up my, uh... Rapid fire. Once you got rap, once you got um, two items on Triss, that's when you really start popping off. Um, and two items might not seem like a lot, but um, two items is pretty significant. I could have sold this for a dagger. Probably should have. Whoops. I'll probably end up recalling anyway after this to get double dagger for the book, or like double longsword, something like that. The reason I'm bot here, even though Baron is up, is because um, no one has TP anyway except Riven, and Riven really needs to be at the start of the fight, so I think for that reason, Riven shouldn't be split pushing, so they should take Ignite, not TP. Um, but also, uh, let me just get out of here, we gotta get mid. But also, I don't think that they could have done the Baron, because even with just four people, are you getting picked? Are you really getting picked? Please don't die. Thank god, I thought he was actually gonna die there. Well. Oh wait, we've done a Soraka ult, that's actually fucking bad. I think we just lost the game. I think we just lost the game, like honestly. I'm not kidding. That Soraka ult, yeah, we just lost. Wait, Yasuo didn't have ult. Okay, never mind, it's fine. I thought Yasuo had ult. Oh, actually, maybe... Oh, Soraka's so low. Soraka needs to go back. 
But yeah, I think we just lost this uh, this in here because of that sort. No! There's no way! There's no way I got hooked there. That's 100% my fault. That's 100% my fault. How did I get hooked there? That's mechanics, man. But again, like, if Sorak was there, if we had Sorak ult, even if I get hooked or whatever, maybe I don't die, stuff like that. But getting hooked was bad. But in general, like, that, that setup... The setup to the fight was already putting us at a disadvantage. And yes, I could have not got hooked, but let's say I don't, we still lose the inhib. So now we just lose more than we would have, but we still, like, it's still bad. But yeah, that, I can't believe I got hooked. I can't believe that hit. It went through everything and then hit me. That Thresh has just been actually playing pretty well. But damn it, that's so unnecessary to die there. Now we take an extra half um, thing and I get, I get killed. I suppose it doesn't really make that much difference, but if they got a tower there or something, then that would have been really big. Now they're going to go Baron, um, which they would have done anyway. So. Wait, why is Riven taking this? Why are you taking this? Are you retarded? Are you Riven? You're Riven that lost lane. Like, why do you want to take farm from a Trist? Are they doing Baron right now? I don't know. Alright, Jace is bought. But yeah, like, just all these little things, like, I'm not playing great, I'll be honest, I'm not playing great, but it's not really the point. Like, we should never be this far behind, um, due to these, like, things, like, these fights that shouldn't be happening and stuff. And, like, for example, perfect example, is right now Riven thinks that she should be taking this farm from me, which is retarded. Don't take my CS, please. Because I scale better, right? Riven is an early slash mid game champion. She doesn't scale as well as Tristana, even if she is meant for like later game or whatever. Like <sighs> Trundle's now doing the same thing. Please don't. So even Soraka's doing it. All right, looks like there's a fight. Karzik's getting taken down again. You get caught, like all his deaths are getting caught out, and now they're pushing top, and we're all bot XD. I should be bot clearing the wave out. That's correct. And if we lose top tower, it's not because of me. Like, this is the sort of shit, this is why I lose games. Like, I think we're gonna lose this game. For like, no reason. All we had to do was just not in. And also, it was kind of set up badly because I had a shit comp. Like, I had to pick Trist. I couldn't really think of anyone else. Um, but, we definitely could have won this game. But we're, now we're gonna lose it. Getting picked over and over again by the Thresh. I just, there's like nothing we can do here. Literally. I shouldn't do that much damage, man. Yeah, let's game. GG. Like, yeah. Alright guys, that's the game. Uh, GG well played. That's our third loss now. Oh, well. I suppose technically seventh, like including the first four, but they were kind of weird. Um, yeah, yikes. Um, all right, guys, remember to subscribe and share, and uh, see you guys later. Peace. You want to be